4.45 in the morning. Some key topics that most people always ask me about, and since they're consistently asking me about this topic of a word, and, it's, and the word's pretty popular at this point. This word, if this word could be for sale, it probably makes somebody wealthy. The word is fear. Now, what you think, what type of recipe you want to make of your life is if one of the key ingredients is fear. Failure is different from fear. Failure takes, you know, courage. Failure takes... Failure is evidence of your beliefs. You have to fail. To get it right, you have to fail. To get it right, you have to take the test. If you fail, you just continue to take the test. But fear to take the test is the biggest failure. Real failure is fear not to do something. You're allowing fear to keep you from doing it. Fear is an acronym for false evidence appearing to be real. False evidence appearing real. And where does all that fear come from? 100% of the fear that you have acquired to keep you from failing forward comes from who created the fear. Who created that fear in you? So really fear, the acronym for fear is false educator appearing to be real. This is a person that set off to train people, instruct people, and quite obviously, deceit people. They haven't done nothing. These are the people that blood suck you to death with BS, haven't done it. They, nine times out of ten, they hate on everybody else that is doing something because they haven't done it yet themselves. They set out to sell false evidence appearing to be real. I always say thigh cream, butt cream, you know, hocus pocus, that kind of thing. And they don't realize that they are creating something. They are creating a false evidence appearing real. And they, too, use the same principles that you should be using that God created. Is that they set out to do something. Whether it's wrong or right, they got started. And there's only two ways to fail. is never to get started, but to get started and quit. Is the only two ways to fail that I've seen throughout my path of creating many solutions to people's problems. I've seen that those are the only two components of Failure is fear keeps you from getting started and fear makes you stop and quit. False evidence appearing real. You're real. And it is evidence that you are real. But you're using the false things. People's opinions. People that's doing it like you're doing it but have never done anything in their life, having complete anything in their life. They've done a lot of get started, but there's a lot of stops, a lot of quits. It is said that the average person that can do something extraordinary, extraordinary, This means to do things that people are not willing to do in order to have things that people will never have in life. Do the things that people are not willing to do in order to have the things that people will not have in life. Get up at 2 o'clock a.m. when you went to sleep at 1. They say you need to sleep 8 hours. I agree. But spread it throughout the 24 hours. 
two hours here, one hour there, 30 minutes here, 15 minute breaks. And see how much more you accomplish. But if you sleep a straight eight hours, you will miss at least the dying stock market. And for one time out of your life, based on where the stock market is today, it's probably going to work for you. So back to my point. Use God's principles to either be famous or infamous, no matter what, get started. But don't ever quit, especially on yourself. Never quit on yourself. And you will be successful. And successful take people take fear and failures and turn it into feedback. God said, get started, but don't quit on me. See you later, and goodbye.